What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by. So real quick, I want to talk about the flips, our flip series we're doing on the Equinox. The customer hasn't made it by yet to come check it out to see if she's going to be interested in buying it. Um, definitely sounds excited on the phone, just she's been busy, so she hasn't made it here. But that's a good thing because a great company that uh, sponsors the channel, sends us some great stuff. I've told you guys about them. Sent uh, a pretty cool upgrade for it. So check it out after this. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so I got the Equinox pulled in. You know, we got to do the LED upgrades. Thanks to uh, NAO, or NAO, they sent us some uh, great LED lights. You can see I got the halogen lights on in the background here. It's, I mean, they're weak. It's, you know, that yellow faded look, you know, I guess, yeah, it's not gonna, it's gonna help you see it so you don't crash into anybody, but, uh, you know, JRC style, it's just not good enough. So we're gonna do a quick comparison, quick install. Crack these bad boys open. We'll show you guys what's in them. I mean, I gotta plug, I gotta plug a great company that uh, obviously uh, you know sponsors the channel and sends us great stuff. So, do a quick comparison. Pop the hood on this thing. Open up the box. Check these out. Check the difference out. All right, guys. And then you can see here. On the shop door, you can see me right here. You can kind of see the line with the halogen. And I got the, I got the car all the way into the shop here. And that's, that's the light casting there. So we're gonna get these LEDs on here, leave the lights the same, get the LEDs on, do a quick comparison here. We'll get one side on first. Wish the camera would pick it up a little better, but you guys could see. We're going to put one side on first, do a quick comparison, and then compare it to the shop door. See the difference here. Let's get into it. So first things first, show you guys a little bit of the packing. You know, I noticed with this company too, you know, they don't spend all the extra money on, you know, fancy packing and cases and everything for it. You know, basically just get you the product safely, you know, undamaged, and put more towards the money on, you know, the actual product inside. But these ones here, looks like they sent me the new K1 Pros. These are H11s, obviously, for the Equinox. Most Chevys, obviously, the newer Chevys take H11s. Uh, my personal truck takes H, used to take H11s, but now takes an H1. But little foam insert. You can see, obviously, going to be two in there. You got your installation manual. For any of you guys, you know, kind of unsure, you do want to clock these. Definitely look, uh, they look like they are clockable, so you could get them corrected. Um, I noticed they don't have a set screw on them, but you know all the steps in doing it is on here for obviously all the different numbers and all that stuff. But you guys know I don't read instructions. And then it looks like you got a little uh, little thank you and special note and all that stuff. So, and then in the packing here, you know most of these are pretty much typically made now with the built-in fans on them. These do have built-in fans, the heat sink. Um, you can see it's a chip LED there, probably a 50-50 or something, I'd have to guess. It's got, it's definitely nice built, it looks aluminum. And then you got your little plastic clip that holds it in. And like I said, they are clockable with no set screw, just a couple of seals though. So, I know some of them have a set screw, but these definitely seem decent. Nice braided line here, and then just a quick plug and play, no extra ballast or anything to worry about. You know, really the only thing you'd have to worry about is this fitting in between, you know, the back side of the headlight and the frame or the core support. So, and then you can see the little logo on the front there, NAO. I'll leave an leave a Amazon affiliate link down in the description where you guys can pick these up at. Let's get them installed, see what they're all about. All right, in case you guys are wondering too, on these Equinoxes, um, you know, obviously you can't get in behind them here because the core support and the way they got the under the hood framed out, but they do have a little access panel here in the inner fender. Um, it's got a little T20 Torx screw that goes in the side here, and then you pay pretty much just pull it out there, and you can access the light through up there. 
don't know if you guys would get a good angle on that, but easy way to get to them. So just a quick tip there. You guys can see a quick comparison. The LED and the regular halogen. See the size difference there. But it's got the same locking tabs on there. Make sure everything matches up. It's the right bulb, right plug. This is more universal type, but. Well, you want to make sure we clock these correctly up and down. So we got the one down, the driver's side in. Let's get these lights on. Do a quick comparison here. You can already see at the bay door, we're getting more coverage there. I know the wall is kind of throwing a, casting a shadow, but you can see the color difference there. And then you could definitely see the difference there. You got the nice, crisp, cool white. And then here you got, you know, the yellowish hint, you know, warm white, kind of faded look. Now, I mean, not to mention these, the lenses are kind of faded anyways um, from the sun, but you could definitely tell the difference there. I mean, right there, even being dead in the middle, you can see the driver's side's just blasting the camera, but definitely a lot brighter. Gives it a better look to it too, a cleaner look, but nothing better than LED upgraded headlights. So I'm going to knock out the other one, get them both matching, take another peek at it and we'll wrap this thing up guys. So you can definitely see the difference. You know, more of a shadow here, pretty much standing in the same spot. You got more coverage there. Definitely looks good. Nice clean look, nice and bright. Definitely dig it. And when they're on, I don't know if you guys are gonna catch this, but you could barely hear the fans. I mean, obviously with them inside the housing, I hear them even less now that I put the cap on, but nice and quiet. You know, some of those ones got really loud fans, but these are nice and quiet. So that's it guys. Like I said, quick comparison on the Equinox. Nice little upgrade. Not like I'm gonna ask more for it now, but this thing definitely, definitely needed it. Definitely a nice look. Gotta have LEDs on everything. But big shout out to Nao Lights, NAO. You guys are looking for LED upgrades. Like I said, all the information down in the descriptions. Uh, pretty cool company. They got all sorts of LED lighting. All, any, any model you may need. Obviously it's not gonna take an H11, but any application that you may need. They got the H5s, H3s, all different sorts. These ones in particular are their new K1 Pro brand. Um, different series, didn't really have their older series to compare it to, but I think they make some pretty decent stuff. You know, I mean, LEDs, you get what you pay for. These things are priced pretty decently. Um, you know, they're definitely gonna last a while. They definitely seem to be built well. Just make sure when your guys are installing them, you clock them correctly so you get the nice, you know, there's no blowouts or one's higher than the next and all that stuff, but links down in the description, you guys are looking into them. NAO, great company. Nice little upgrade on the Equinox. We'll get this thing flipped soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.